Hello, my name is Mar Pimito. I'm one of the CAM application specialists here at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to machine a wrapped through slot. So basically by wrap through slot, I'm referring to the way that we would have to define the feature that we have on screen. It is a wrap feature because it is on the OD of a revolved part. And it's a slot because it has one open edge. Now normally what we have on screen would only generate or only allow us to define a open profile. And from a wrapped open profile, I can generate a contour mill operation. But this contour mill operation would just hug those walls. It would leave a slug in the middle there. I actually want to rough this out. The only way to rough this out with what we have on screen is if we engage the side parameters. If I open up this operation here, we can see that under my side parameters settings, I've told it that I'm doing a 40% 40, 40 radial step over. And the amount of material I need to remove is one inch. But what that does is it generates a lot of air cuts, as you can see on the side here. So that's not the most efficient way to rough this out. I would like to do this with a rough mill operation. Open profile does not generate a rough mill operation. So I would need to define this as a slot. And because it's on the OD of the part, I need to do this as a wrapped slot. And I'm calling it a through slot mainly because there is no floor. And that's where the issue comes in. There's nothing on the part here that would allow me to define this as a slot with what we have on screen so far. This is where the benefit of being fully integrated inside SOLIDWORKS can come into play. I'm going to add a surface to define the floor of a slot, and then I'll use that to generate my rough mill. So in my top left corner here on my SOLIDWORKS command manager, you can see I have my surfaces tab engaged. If you don't have the surfaces tab, right click on any of your tabs, go to the tabs manager, and just turn on surfaces. And we have a lot of surfacing functionality inside SOLIDWORKS, but the one I'm going to use here is something that's going to extract the surfaces right from the solid. And that's called offset surface. Offset surface basically allows me to create a surface off of the faces of the solid. I have the offset set to zero. So I'm actually just going to copy those surfaces right from the solid. I'm going to start by copying the ID. Now what I'm doing with the ID is basically I'm going to go back to the SOLIDWORKS feature tree. I'll hide my solid. And now I'm just going to play around with the surface. And you can see that the surface actually has the outside edges of what I'm going to define as my slot. I need basically the opposite of what we have on screen. So what I'm going to do first is I will use another command called untrim surface. And what that does is it will untrim this surface. These lines right here. If I just click on the uh, surface here, you can see that it brings the surface back to its original version, the essentially the cylinder. So now I have something I can use to create the floor of my slot. Uh, I need to trim that again, but getting the other side. So I need something to trim that surface, some sort of trimming tool. So if I bring back the solid, I want this portion of the surface that I just untrimmed. So I need something to trim that, I need to something to, to cut that. I'll use the walls of the part, and I'll do the same thing I did before. I will go back to offset surface, and now I will just offset or copy the walls of my slot. Now the reason we're doing it like this is because as soon as we do anything inside surfaces in a single command, like I'm doing here with my offset, this will exist in the SOLIDWORKS feature tree as a single entity. I'm going to use that as my trimming tool in my surfaces. So to show how that works, again, I'm just going to hide the solid once again. And all we're doing, dealing with here is my surfaces. I'll go back to the surfaces tab. And now we're going to use something called trim surface. Trim surface basically allows me to choose something to do the trimming. So in this case, it'll be the walls of my slot. So I'll go to my surface bodies. And I'll just click on that entity right there. And then now I need to choose what I'd like to remove. So in this case, remove selections. I'll remove this side of that surface. Click the green check mark. And now you can see that I've trimmed it to the surfaces that I want to use in my, in my tool path. So I'll just hide those walls. This guy right here is exactly what I want. And just to show what we're doing, I'll bring back the solid. This surface right here can now act as the floor of my wrap slot. So I'll return to CamWorks. And again, I'm just going to keep ignoring the rebuild because I haven't done anything new yet. I'll right click, wrap feature. I'll be creating a wrap slot. And now very simply, I can just click on that surface. It understands the edges of that surface to be the walls of my slot. End condition would be the OD. 
And then under Edit Profile, really, I need to come in here only because I've chosen a surface, and Camworks doesn't know what side or what walls of that slot count as the open edge. So I'm just going to do that here by seeing that it's highlighting that edge. I'll just make that edge open. And now I have a wrap slot. And then from there, I can generate operation plan. And I can generate my toolpath. Now the toolpath looks somewhat similar. That is because this is being this is a slot. My default tech DB automatically uses offset roughing. So it might seem somewhat similar to when I use the, the side steps in a contour, but you can see that it actually trims the toolpath so it does not cut air. But as a rough mill operation, we have multiple options here. If I turn this to a zig cut. And I'll just tell it that I'd like to go from the bottom right, basically over here. We'll get a toolpath that does a zigzag going across there. And always keep in mind, when you do a zigzag, you might want to use that cleanup pass. So that will rough that out with nice, smooth lines. Because this is a rough mill, we also have access to volume mill. So if I turn on my volume mill toolpath, I get an e even better option for roughing out that slug of material. So a wrap through slot is really nothing more than just a combination of the fact that it's a wrapped feature and it is a through feature. So I create that surface, so I have something to define the walls of my slot, and now I have the same functionality, the same capability I would have with any other slot inside of Camworks. Any questions on this or anything else, give us a call at our number found on our website, and stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.